Welcome to episode number 88, How I Manifested My Baby. This is something that I don't speak about very often and that I've been dying to speak about actually, but I haven't quite known how to articulate it, how to put it into words and how to make it understandable and relatable, you see. I am already making no sense. (laughs) I feel like this is a secret that I've been holding close to my heart and I don't want it to be a secret. I want all women to feel and know this and to, to be able to experience what I did if you have not already. I am a clinical nutritionist, but you all know that I'm also quite spiritual if you've been listening for a while. So I am always conscious of sharing a balance of evidence-based information and juicy woo-woo shit. (laughs) But in all honesty, while nutrients and supplements and optimal biochemistry and all that jazz are extremely important and essential to health, I secretly favor the juicy woo-woo. My ultimate goal is for women to find that magical place on their journey because that is what changes it all and that is where the real magic happens. So I want to share with you how I manifested my baby on an energetic and spiritual level. This is the whole reason why I created my program IVF Magic and ultimately what all of the modules are working towards for you, to create a powerful energy in your life through the empowered choices that you make that will attract everything that you desire and deserve. So this is just a taste of the magic inside IVF Magic, the program. First things first, I will start with the foundations that I had created in my life through the fertility journey. And secondly, I'll be sharing with you what I believe to be the most powerful technique in manifestation. There were so many factors that led to the conception of our baby girl and divine timing certainly played a role. But ultimately, everything that I did and everything that I didn't do attracted and manifested her into my life. During IVF, I fostered a mindset of gratitude. Gratitude is a practice and it's such a powerful one. It can completely shift your biochemical and mental state. I began to feel more grateful for what I had than ever before. And that doesn't mean that I wasn't allowed more. More would come and that energy attracted more of the same. For me, it was a deeply personal journey in learning my worth, in learning that I was worthy of this baby just as I was right now. And once I knew that and once I truly believed it, I was able to sit in that place of worthiness. Fostering gratitude and knowing my worth were both learnings that allowed me to not be so attached to the outcome and not need external or internal validation on the journey. My happiness and ability to experience deep love and joy and clarity in life was not dependent on me conceiving a baby at all. I found myself operating in an abundance mindset rather than a lack mindset, knowing and trusting that everything was available to me in business, in life, in love. I could have it all. I could have it all at once. I did have it all. It just took realizing that. I developed deep trust in the journey, in my journey, which allowed me to surrender it to a higher power, to the universe, which was so relieving and liberating. I became more present, living in the now, in the small, simple, little, tiny, seemingly unimportant moments of life that became the most beautiful moments with that level of awareness. In fact, I feel like I was the most conscious during that journey of IVF that I've ever been before, which is so special. I saw signs from the universe all of the time. I was so open to the magic and this further affirmed my trust and that I was being guided by something bigger than myself. I wasn't floating around like an angel of positivity. (laughs) Oh no, it was a beautiful mess. I was truly acknowledging and experiencing my full range of emotions and it was all okay. It was better than okay, actually. I realized that I was and I had been experiencing all of these intense emotions and working through them, overcoming them, 
The journey was messy and it was juicy and it was hard as hell and it was all so beautiful. I got to experience all of this. That's what we are all put on this earth to do. And I felt so damn lucky that I got to have an intense and powerful experience that has made me who I am today. I want you to know and feel that too. I believed with every bone in my body that our baby was coming to us. There was absolutely no doubt. I felt all of the feelings that I would feel as if I was pregnant already. I felt deep joy and excitement and anticipation. I sipped on my hot cocoa and I meditated every morning, listening to a song that brought me joy, holding my belly and feeling immense happiness and gratitude. It was as if I was pregnant already. Everything that I felt, everything that I was creating, I was already pregnant. And the thing is that in my head I was, it was done. And this is the ultimate act of manifestation. I felt immense gratitude and deep love for myself and my baby. I felt as if I was pregnant without a shadow of a doubt before my baby came along. (laughs) It was the most incredible feeling and this is manifestation. This is everything that is available to you. I still carry on this practice in pregnancy, in manifesting the birth that I know I will have and the most powerful way that I can recommend you manifesting anything that you desire in your life is through meditation. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be an effort. You might just touch that feeling for a minute or 30 seconds to begin with. By going within and imagining the event or thing in such depth that it is real, you will know it when you feel it. You will feel the deep emotions of love and immense gratitude. You will feel as though it has already happened. It may not happen right away and your monkey mind may initially create a superficial story around it. But know that every time you practice, you are doing an incredible job and getting closer and closer. So I want to give you a very quick manifestation meditation tutorial, remembering that this is a practice and it takes practice. The morning is a nice, quiet time to ground into this, but find any quiet time that you can. Take a seat and take a few deep breaths. Begin to go within. If your mind wanders, simply recenter. Begin to imagine the event or the thing that you desire in detail. Imagine it has happened and it is real. Create that reality internally until you feel the feelings associated with that reality. And once you feel and truly believe it, it is done then you can release it to the universe as an act of surrender and trust that it is coming to you. It is done. In IVF Magic, I share much more on manifestation and manifesting your baby with a beautiful guided meditation as well. I'll chat to you next week.